Good day and welcome to Education News Update for Monday the 25th of September 2023. I'm bringing you Education News Update from Krista Edu News paper, I'm bringing also from Guardian newspaper, Tribune Legend, Punch, People's Gazette and the Sun newspaper. Before we continue with our news today, I want you to, a, a, a video drops, that's a moment with Chooks Krista, I'd like you to go watch the video, it's talking about the lessons learned from the late Mobad, the late um, music artist Mo bad all right before we continue of course i am elizabeth you will stay with me yes crystal education tv is introducing the communication and media training to our partnering schools now what does this entail it means we are bringing newscasting public speaking camera manipulation spoken words production programs and all media takes all of everything you think media and takes we're bringing it to schools we're bringing it to the learners to learn interesting right so now we are making it easier from the foundation level we're bringing it to them they should be outspoken confident fierce courageous in front of camera that's what we are bringing to schools we are bringing something very 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 interesting we'll begin with Krista Erdo news textbooks are important teacher encourages parents a teacher at the Vine International Academic Nyanya has urged parents to ensure to get textbook for their children this session speaking to our news team the basic three teacher misses Faith or Ranu encourage parents to ensure to get textbook for the learners. Let's hear from her. Basically, we know that school resumed on the 11th of September 2023. That was on a Monday. And to the glory of God, pupils resumed greatly that day. And from that moment up to this moment, we haven't recorded any kind of loss or losses among the children or even among the, the teachers or the parents as well. And not just that, we've had some other pupils added to us that's having new pupils uh, amongst us. And the teaching and the learning processes have been going on very well by God's grace. So my advice to, uh, to the parents as well as encouragement to them is this. Basically, school has resumed, and I believe that before school resumed, the parents knew that these children will also resume school, this new session, and without textbooks, the children will not flow very well in the classroom. Some of the textbooks are, uh, okay, all the textbooks are being used in and outside of the school environment. For example, we have to do the class activities and also the homework. And when the child is not having the, the, the textbook, such a child might be left behind when others are doing their classwork and also not being effective in that aspect of learning what he or she should have learned uh, in the course of doing the homework or the classwork from the textbook. Therefore, I encourage the parents, despite the situation of the nation, that uh, they should do well to get the, the people's textbooks that will be very needed and they will not regret having to buy those textbooks because they will be maximized to the best of our abilities as the teachers. All right, the Guardian has 50% of students may drop out due to fee hike, ASU wants. The president of the Academic Staff Union of University, ASU, Professor Emmanuel Osedeke, has warned that about 50% of Nigerian university students may drop out of school within the next two years if the Nigerian government fails to stop the continuous fee hike in university. Okay, moving on to Tribune. Nigeria needs over 300,000 new teachers to address out-of-school children crisis, TRCN. Still with Tribune. UNICEF sacks the pen, suspends workers for misconduct. Authority of the Nandi Azikowe University, Okwa Anambra State, has sacked and suspended lecturers and other categories of workers for various misconduct. Okay, still with Tribune, 7.6 million girls currently out of school in Nigeria, UNICEF. 
7.6 million girls currently out of school in Nigeria, UNICEF. United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has reviewed that more than half of the girls in Nigeria, about 7.6 million girls, are missing out on primary education in Nigeria. Still on Tribune, current registrar's comments on Uni Abuja engineering programs misleading varsity. Still on Tribune, Governor Adele Kik laments decline of education in Oshu. The Oshun State Governor Ademola Adeliki has expressed concern over the poor state of education in the state and has sought to support has sought the support of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, particularly to enhance the infrastructural development of tertiary institution in Oshun. Still with Tribune, Waiyek to introduce CBT for YCHNO. I take that again, Waiyek to introduce CBT for Wasi HNO. The West African Examination Council WIAC, has reviewed that plans to introduce the computer based text CBT mode in the administration of its examination are at an advanced stage. FG approves 20% pay rise for lecturers in federal institute. Sure. Okay, before we move to legit, I'd like you to share. This is our post. You can subscribe, like, comment, and make your own input to any of the news that caught your interest. Uh, moving on to Legit. Legit has callous, insensitive group reacts to tuition fee increase in Nigeria University. Still in Legit, jam not required. Nigeria's first online university announces admission. It says only Waek and Nico is needed. Learn Chinese with ease. Unilag invites Nigerians to study new language, list many benefits. Akoka Lagos State, the University of Lagos State has announced admission for its Chinese language programs. Unilag final year students carries play card on the road begs for 225,000 Naira school fees. Okay, on the punch we have educational TV quiz show Cowboypedia returns for new session. Cowboy is making a return with a focus on STEM, that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics and more substantial rewards. Again, moving on to Gazette, the People's Gazette, anti-drug abuse campaign to hold in Ogun schools, PS. And finally, on a user line today, the sun has I will introduce free education in Imo YPP Goba candidates. A governorship candidate of the Young Progressive Party YPP in Imo State Chief Kemdi Opara has vowed to introduce free education in the state when he wins the forthcoming governorship election in Nigeria. Okay, thank you very much for being here with me. Is there any news at all that caught your interest? All you need to do is go to our website, crystaledinews.com.ng to read up on more details. Yeah. And I remain Elizabeth Jimo, and with all of us here at Crystal Education TV, it's bye for now.